For the last 48 hours, the world has watched as the U.S. makes its big return to space, starting with a launch from the Space Coast to the moments when Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley made their way to the International Space Station. And the celebration as the two men were finally welcomed aboard the ISS. Today from space, they said they have talked with their families, including their young sons, and are ready to get to work up there. It is a journey nine years in the making for the U.S. space program and the two Americans who made history on the Crew Dragon, the first ever commercial capsule to carry astronauts to space. The billionaire behind SpaceX, Elon Musk, told our Eric Von Anken in a one-on-one -on -one interview he's grateful to the Space Coast and the future is very bright for Brevard County. News 6's Eric Von Anken is in Titusville with the interview you'll only see on 6. Musk told me exclusively that he expects to launch more from right here, the Space Coast, than on any other rocket anywhere else in the world combined. What does that do for the Space Coast security and stability? When SpaceX took America back to space on Saturday with two astronauts on board, it also took the Space Coast somewhere it has never really been. For the first time since the space program began, the Space Coast has a fairly secure future, not relying anymore on just the government. The history of spaceflight is that the government created the demand and the government created the supply. And when you do that, you are always limited and you are subject to the whimsical budgets of politicians. NASA's administrator promised last week that the day Atlantis rolled to a stop in 2011, ended the shuttle program and sent home thousands of workers for good will never happen again. He and Elon Musk say they understand how devastating that day and that time was for the Space Coast. Very much appreciate the, the support of the Space Coast and all of the people in Florida. Um, that uh, have helped, helped us get here. One on one, Elon Musk told me about his big plans. Just his company, SpaceX alone, is going to make the Space Coast busier than ever. We're going to keep driving hard and, and uh, do more and more missions. I, I think uh, it's, it's just to give you a sense of, of scale here. Uh, I think we're going to do um, more uh, payload uh, from, from Space Coast to orbit than uh, the, all other rockets combined this year just uh, in, in sheer tonnage. From the Space Coast? Yeah, yeah, from, from, from Cape Canaveral, Cape Kennedy. Which is From 39A and 40. It's real, a lot of missions. It's like, uh, you know, we're doing a launch every 10 days. And as Space Florida points out, they're the local economic development agency for space flight. SpaceX is just one commercial company. Blue Origin is building a giant factory here. There's also ULA and many other commercial companies working on sending people to space as well. We're talking about space tourists. We'll get into that when I see you again coming up at 6. But for now, on the Space Coast, Eric Von Eichen getting results, News 6. It is good to see Eric. Thank you. The Space Coast is looking forward to another launch this week from SpaceX. The company will be sending up another round of those Starlink communication satellites on Wednesday. The window is between 9 and 10 at night. Weather's giving it an 80% go for launch right now. This is the company's ninth mission of delivering satellites into space.